Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get unlimited XP by playing in this new game mode and it literally just gives you unlimited XP. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe for more content like this and let's get into it. So if you go into your menu and you choose the different game mode that you want to play, you should click on pit and this is actually a creative map. You might have already played it before, but what the pit does is it actually lets the XP that you gain from this creative map go to your actual season XP, which is what makes it really OP to play. And I'm pretty sure this game mode will only be out for about a day or so, so make sure you do this as soon as possible so you can get the most XP. So I'm just going to ready up and we're going to head into the pit. And our luck goal for today, let's try to hit 100 likes if that's possible. Let's just see how many we get. But that's going to be a pretty big like goal for us to hit. So hopefully you guys are up for it and hit that like button and subscribe. Okay, so we're into the pit. As you guys can see, it's filled with 16 players. So 15 other players besides yourself. And basically you just hop into this big pit. It's sort of like Minecraft type pixel pit if you've ever played that. It's basically modeled after that. So as you guys can see, I already got one um, different uh, like punch card and by doing this you can get these weapon allocates it also give you punch cards so it's kind of op so you just have to do different damage with different types of weapons so you basically just have to do different damage with different types of weapons to get this xp so as you guys can see we are in and it's kind of glitching out right now we have to spawn back up there to get our guns but as you guys can see i'm about to get the different weapons and let's see what that does so, this actually makes you really fast. And we're just going to pick up a scar. Let's see what else. It automatically picks up because that's what I have in my settings. So, I'm going to take a charge. Or we can take a pump. We'll take a pump. And we can take a SMG. We can take a rapid fire SMG. And then, we're going to take a sniper. And I guess we'll take a scoped revolver. Okay, so you can also take health, and you can get stuff by doing this health, and the shockwave grenades are kind of cool too. So this is our loadout, and basically just make sure you have like one of every single weapon. I'd actually just make sure you have a sniper in your loadout, because then you can do some different types of damage with your allocates. So now I'm just going to hop into the pit, and I'm using this loadout in the bottom right, and I'm going to be using a sniper. So let's see how much XP I can get. So basically what you want to do is try to get the sniper rifle kills in here. It's basically the easiest thing to do while you're in the pit because it's a lot easier than in Battle Royale. And as you can see, I already got 10,000 XP by doing one of my challenges. And I also got deal damage with scoped weapons, which is one of the XP extravaganza challenges. So the next thing I'm going to do is try to use some of my other weapons. So the scar is really good for the AR elimination, obviously, and same thing with the with the shotgun. So I can also use my rapid fire SMG for SMG damage. So basically, if you've not completed those challenges and done your 5,000 damage on stage three, you should definitely be using every single weapon. So the scar is also pretty easy to get damage with, and I just got another kill there. But you will not see it updating on the side of the screen as often because I think that's just a glitch with Fortnite. So there we go, it just updated with eliminate opponents. I just leveled up as well. Just got 10,000 XP. And now my thing is updating with AR damage. So you wanna keep on doing this damage and try to rack it up. And basically if you play this for an entire day, you should be able to get all of your XP that you will need and try to complete all those challenges. So now I'm just gonna go after this guy with the AR. And it's pretty easy to get shotgun damage in here as well. Basically everything is easy in here. But if you really want to get the sniper damage, you want to get further away. So it'll be easier. And you also get unlimited mats. So you can basically build up as high as you want and do whatever you want. So it's a lot easier than Battle Royale to get this. And it's also pretty fun. So now I'm just going to go after some more people with my scar. And use the shotgun. Rapid fire SMG is really useful in close quarters. So I'm now just going to give a quick rundown of all of the different XP challenges and punch cards that you can actually complete by just grinding in the pit. So the first thing over here, if you can see, it says damage with assault rifles to opponents. If you do 1000 damage, which is stage 1 out of 3, I'm pretty sure it goes up by um, 
by it multiplies it by 10 so the next one will be 10,000 or something like that maybe a thousand five hundred not exactly sure but it should be pretty easy to get in a day because a hundred thousand or one thousand is actually just 10 kills and then if you keep on going up it'll be like 15 kills 20 kills so that's pretty simple and there's some other ones including deal damage with smgs and yeah i was right it's 2500 for the second one so for the first stage you do 10 kills second stage you do 25 kills third stage you do 50 kills pretty simple to do that one as well for week two there's a shotgun challenge so you do 5,000 damage with shotguns, you do your 1,000 damage with shotguns, you do your 2,500 damage with shotguns, so pretty simple over there. And then finally scoped weapons, which is including the snipers and uh, I think the scoped ARs as well. So you can use any of those and the pit's really nice because you can actually just choose any gun that you want in the entire game. So now we're going to move on to the punch cards. So here we have the punch cards, and there are some over here. Let's see which ones we can actually get. So the first one is AR eliminations. Pretty simple, 140 out of 250 for me at least. I'm already on the fifth punch for this. But if you're a little bit earlier um, in this punch card, you can still easily complete these pretty easily. Um, this is eliminations with different weapon types. This one's also really easy since you can get rocket launchers in this mode also pretty easy, a lot easier than doing it in BR. So it's pretty simple over there. The shotgun eliminations you can do. And we also have the sniper rifle eliminations, SMG el eliminations, and we got explosives which include rocket launchers and grenades. So they have all of those in the pit. And you can also do different weapon expert allocates. So I'm not exactly sure if they do these in the pit. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if that's true. But you can also just do that and get a ton of XP from that. And there's one last thing that you can actually do. So if you head on over to the daily challenges, I'm just going to cycle through them on the left. I'm going to go over to my daily missions, right over here, quick challenges. So if you have something like deal damage with SMGs, you can get that done in the pit. And you can also get other challenges, but it really depends on what challenges you have for your quick challenges. And that'll just get you a lot of XP. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And hopefully you guys can hit level 100 or whatever your goal is for the season, maybe level 200. So yeah, hopefully you guys can do that. And this really helped you guys out. And make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this with tips and tricks and glitches and other information about Fortnite. I'll see you guys in another one.